this is scary. YouTube. I'm in the hospital by myself. Pooh Bear's almost a half a mile away from me waiting on me. Um, let's get down here a little ways. We're in an older section. You can tell by the doors. Um, she parked up somewhere and I snuck back down. She was scared so like I always say when in doubt get the fuck out right? So, I'm on wooden floors, so I am in an old section. Place closed. Shit. Thought I seen something. It's just me, I know it is. I'm sorry about some of the dark footage, but the light's going dead in this camera. Well, it's, it's a light I bolted onto the bottom of the camera. So I could have some light. But, see, somebody's been in here. Well, of course, I mean, no shit, Marty. <laughs> but, um, anyway. Batteries must be going dead because it's not as bright as it used to be. There's footprints out there. There was footprints when I came in, but they were covered over with new snow, so nobody's been inside this park yet today. Except me. But there was fresh tire tracks when we came up the driveway earlier. One more flight, and then I want to go try to find Pooh. She absolutely loves this kind of thing, but she was really... Oh my God, should we? Yeah, let's do it. She was really feeling uncomfortable. So, I said, come on, baby, let's go. And she kept talking about it. I said, okay, I'll go back for you, baby, and try to get some video for you. This is the attic of the old section. Okay, if you're seeing, like, mist and stuff, remember, it's cold, so it's my breath. And I'm smoking cigarettes, so it's nothing paranormal. Although, being a paranormal investigator, I am quite positive. I, if we brought some ghost hunting stuff and night vision, uh, full spectrum, we would find some things. I mean, a lot of people has died, you know, in this hospital. I 
I'm in a very old section. This is wooden floor. It's like a labyrinth. I like storage spaces and stuff. Damn it. Look out this window and see if I can get a bearing of where I'm at right now. As I start walking around for a while. Okay. Got kind of an idea. Sorry, I'm not talking loud, but if there are any homeless people in here, I don't want to interrupt them. You know, their lifestyle. And, you know, you do. I gotta tell you, you know, uh, there was a time that I was really not homeless, but I had to stay with a friend, and a couple times, you know, I just felt bad about having to stay with him and I did go places and spend the night and of course told him you know hey I was just out of friends but you know to save face but I just uh you know I have run into vagrants before but uh you know they're just just trying to live that's all and with the economy the way it is you know, it's uh, it's not good, and there's going to be more, and it's a shame. Should we? Okay, let's do this, you two. I'm going to keep rolling while we do this. I shouldn't have done that because now I don't know where the fuck I am. But anyway, like I said, please don't put down the homeless because there are some good people. Now, of course, there are those pe homeless people that just don't want to work and that's just the way they want to live. But there are some good people that, you know, they. Okay, we came in way up there. But where that simile is, Pooh's up there waiting on me. So we gotta get out and go clear up there and find her. And I forgot my phone. So, but just see this on the junk. But I'll do a revisit of this. I'd love to come back in the nighttime and bring the full spectrum. But I don't like leaving her sit by herself either. But yeah, I've, I've known some homeless people that would work their ass off for a sandwich and I felt like I was taking them. But then I came across one time, I just went mud in my truck, my Suburban, and uh, okay, I know where I'm at now. And uh, there was a guy at an intersection uh, off ramp and uh, had a sign that said we'll work for food that's pure ice so I said I'll tell you what buddy I said I will give you a steak dinner a place to stay for the weekend the whole weekend shower oh this is here shower up you know, if you just wash my truck, and I will help you, I will take it to car wash. All you got to do is just lose it off for me. And he said, well, that sounds good, but he said, you're actually going to make me work for it. You just don't feel sorry for me. 
I said, well, no, I don't. And I kind of felt bad, but apparently he didn't want to work. So, but I, I've done it before to where, I mean, they just, is that all you want me to do? Yeah, no, I got to do more for you. You know, I'm getting paid too much. I'm like, dude, no. No, here, that's, you know, you, you done fine. And, uh, you know, when I had my shop, you know, working on cars, I, I'd pay guys $10 an hour to come in and push a broom for me. And those guys would work their ass off, you know? But like I say, so, you know, be kind, but be cautious also. So, I'm going to keep rolling. Whoa, there's a window broken out. I'm going to keep rolling as we try to find our way out of here. And I'll talk to you a little bit as we go. I'm going to try to make this a two-parter. Um, where the fuck did we come in at? There's elevators. A uh, two-parter or something. Okay, I'm lost again. And uh, I have a couple videos for you guys. I, I know we've been just uploading some personal stuff. and um, But... You know, but you know, um, like I said, we had to drive over an hour to get here from Ohio to Indiana to get some video for you guys. And by the way, the uh, the gas company didn't pan out. It's tore down, and the haunted greenhouse is tore down. And I don't remember this. I can't lost. This is a big building. But to the fellow urban explorers, please be careful, because see, this is all ice right here. And my camera's getting cold, so let me shut this light off. And uh, it seems blurry in the screen, but I'm not sure. i got to find a way to get out of here and get back up over that hill. I guess I'm almost a half a mile from her now. So, I've got to find out how the hell to get out of here. Okay, I remember shining light in there, or shining the camera in there. So we came in this way somewhere. Was it this way? You guys remember? Thanks for being with me and us as we do our little journeys. Now I can follow our footprints out. Um, and all your guys' support. That place is cool. Now I'm not sure where we were at, but I think we might have been in that place. I'm not sure. But anyway, thanks guys. You guys are great. And if you subscribe to us, we'll gladly subscribe to you. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. And, uh, but, you know, keep the comments clean. You know, a little dirty joke here and there's cool. <laughs> but, you know, don't bash us, don't hate us. You know, if, if you don't like our videos, that's cool, I understand. Just don't watch them, you know, it's no big deal. But when you go to bashing us, I, I get red, especially about Pooh Bear. She's my life, she's my world. She's my sweetheart, and, you know, nobody's going to do that. And, uh, you know, so, what I, I guess what I'm saying is don't hide behind the keyboard and be a badass. Be a badass to me. But, uh, and I'm sorry about some of this graffiti that you guys see. Uh, but, something I can't help, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to blurt out or anything because this is what America has come to. So, this is why I show this stuff. Not to be nasty or mean. But to say, look, look what people do. But uh, thanks, guys. I'm going to shut you off here. I still got got to go clear up there. 
uh, not not far out, about another thousand feet. And uh, and uh, we'll chat with you guys as soon as we can. And again, thanks guys. And I uh, hope you all had a happy Valentine's Day, as I did. Uh, Pooh treat, treats me real well and gave me a great Valentine's Day. And I just want to say I love you, Pooh. And thanks for being my soulmate forever. All right, YouTube. Shea Bear 1000. I'm out of here. We're going later.